Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a special treat for you guys. When I did my grocery haul, some of you guys requested that I do a review on the bars that I bought. So today I decided to review the chocolate chip cookie dough. So I have a Diet Coke <laughs> and let's open these up. So these say chocolate chip cookie dough, four net carbs, one gram of sugar. Let me see. I've had the before. I've tried like the brownie ones and stuff, but um, so let me show you guys. Quest protein bar, chocolate chip cookie dough. All righty. Let's see. Are you kidding me? <laughs> These used to be so much easier to open before. Okay. So let's see. Let's take a bite. Mmm. It has chocolate chips. It is chewy and a little grainy. Mm. But flavor wise, it's chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh my God. Mmm. I love the pieces of chocolate chip in it, like the crunch. Mmm. These are pretty good, you guys. You should definitely try them out. I mean, all the Quest products are keto proof, so you guys should definitely check them out. Now, mm, Diet Coke, I, I did buy different ones. I bought, I think, blueberry muffin, um, chocolate brownie, what else? Uh, white chocolate raspberry swirl or something like that. Mmm. S'mores. I tried the the chocolate brownie before, and the s'mores, and they're pretty good. But they all they all have the same texture. They're all chewy. But they have a really good flavor, you guys. Mmm. Let me show you guys. Look, look at the chunks of chocolate chip. Mmm. Oh my god, those bites. Look at that. I love getting a bite where the chocolate chip is at. Mmm. Oh. Mm. It makes it heavenly. And it has 21 grams of protein. And this box brings four of them. Yep. Each box brings four bars. I bought these at Walmart. Because over here, you could only find the Quest products either at Walmart or GNC.
I like what it says. Quest Nutrition is on a mission to make the foods you crave work for you, not against you. I love them, you guys. They're so good. And I, what I love about them is that they don't throw you off keto. Mmm. I can't get over those chocolate chip bites. They're really good. Mm hmm. I would have to try all of them, not at once. <laughs> these videos are gonna be very far apart because I don't do these often, but. To see which is my favorite one, I would have to try them all, but so far, like, I love this one. I like the chocolate brownie one. Mmm. But what I love the most about this one is not only the flavor, but the chunks of chocolate chip. I've always been the kind of person that I love, like when I have my sweets, either a candy bar or an ice cream. My ice cream has to have some type of nut in it or crunchiness, so either chocolate almond, you know, like a chocolate ice cream with pieces of almond inside or like pieces of little peanut butter cups or, or chocolate chips. It has to have some chunky stuff in it that makes, gives it a crunch. And my chocolate bars, I won't eat them plain. They have to have, I mean, I'll eat a, a plain Hershey's chocolate bar. It's delicious, but I'd rather get it with almonds. Like, I just love that. So that's what I like about this bar, that it has the chunks of chocolate chip uh, mm. Not only do you get to sacrifice, um, satisfy your sweet craving, but you get to have your little chunky pieces of chocolate chip inside. <laughs> And this is a really good bar. If I had to rate it, I would give it a 10 out of 10, honestly. And that's how good it is. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Look at that chocolate chip in there, oh my God. Definitely an awesome keto friendly treat. To satisfy that sweet craving. Mm. It's perfect. And only four, you guys, four net cards for one entire bar. Look at that. So good. Definitely recommend it. Two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. Awesome. By far one of my favorite ones. Oh, I've also, which I didn't buy this time because I didn't see it at the Walmart. I've tried the birthday cake one. It's so good. It's like having a piece of vanilla 
cake. So good. Like, all these bars, like I said, are the same texture. They're chewy, a little bit grainy, but they're so good. Like, the flavor in it, they're all different flavor-wise. Texture-wise, is the same, but flavor-wise, it's really like when you have the birthday cake one, the outside coating of it, it's like if it was like some type of vanilla frosting. <coughs> oh, sorry, every time I drink, I drink Coke. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Although some people like watching people burp. I don't know why. I think it's a fetish and it freaks me out when I see people <laughs> requesting other people to do it. I mean, hey, I'm not knocking down anyone who does. I have a friend on YouTube that does that. And I get a kick out of her videos. But I get creeped out by people's comments. Oh my god, Sadie, you scared me. <laughs> she, um... She does burping videos. People request her to do burping videos. So she'll sit there and drink like a two liter of soda, Pepsi or Coke. And then she'll burp and people enjoy watching that like they literally request her to do more and there are people who go as far as requesting farts <laughs> that's how crazy the internet is you guys like i could understand you getting satisfaction out of watching someone eat because their food looks delicious like mainly that's the main reason why i started watching mukbang channels when i first started watching mukbangs and doing mukbangs myself because it's enjoyable to watch somebody enjoy their food and you see their food and it looks so yummy and you're like, oh my God, I want some of that. But hello, what thrill do you get out of watching someone burp or fart? I just don't get it. So, But like I said, some people have weird fetishes. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And I don't drink uh, Diet Coke often. I only have it like on special occasions. Maybe we're having like a get together, a party or something. But every day with my meals, I always have water. But you could have diet soda on keto. But I just, you know, I don't have it often. You shouldn't have it often anyway. So, oh boy, I think I drink it too fast. <laughs> Try not to burp. Anyway that was good you guys you should definitely try these bars get them either at walmart or gnc i'm not sure if vitamin shop has them but i know for a fact that gnc and walmart carries all the quest products and even target sells the quest pizzas so two thumbs up a hundred percent we back up the quest products they are 100 percent keto friendly <clears throat> sorry <laughs> some people's bodies are different um some people get kicked off ketosis from having even like a diet soda that has sucralose instead of aspartame i mean everybody's different but that's what the ketone strips are for because you could test these products out after you consume them the next day you pee on a stick and if your ketones drop you obviously were kicked off, uh, kicked off ketosis, but if you're still in ketosis, if there is still color on your stick after eating one of those bars, then you know for a fact that they don't throw you off ketosis. I've tested uh, with the ketone strips after consuming them. I've tested my pee with the Quest products, the Atkins shakes, none of it throws me off. It might get a little lighter, the color, because the, the more you are in fasting mode, the deeper the dark color is going to be on the ketone strips, which is purple. The darkest purple means you're in deep ketosis. So the lighter it gets, you know, it, doesn't, it means you're just not into deep, deep ketosis, but you're still in ketosis. Any color means ketosis, as long as it's not like, you know, plain white or yellow. The, the strip will tell you what each color means. You'll know if you're in ketosis. So anything from pink up, you know you're in ketosis. I've never been kicked off from any of the Quest products. That's why I'm so in love with them because I need to have my sweets at least once a month when I crave my hormonal changes and everything. I crave them. I have to have them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in my next video.